Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sosa. Today is kind of a, not a heavy and heavy engineering topic day, I guess. Like we're gonna be talking about soft skills and how important they are and why as an engineer, you should really be working on soft skills on top of all the other technical skills that you're expected to know. So if that's interesting to you, even if it's not, you should still stick around and watch, but let's get started. So first things first, what are soft skills? So soft skills relate to how you work. Soft skills include people skills, communication skills, listening skills, time management, empathy, and a bunch of other things. Hiring managers usually look for candidates with good soft skills on top of good technical skills because they make someone more successful in the workplace and on a team. So you could be amazing and a wizard at these technical skills and job specific duties, but if you can't manage your time or know how to work with others without causing an argument or a fight, then you might not be successful in the workplace. So even though this seems like a basic common sense I don't want to say common sense but even though this seems like a very easy thing to pick up sometimes it's not good communication and adaptability and uh, dependability sometimes these types of soft skills aren't as top of mind to other people and to everyone like not everyone has the same strength in their soft skills besides my own personal experiences there are a bunch of other reasons why I thought about this but specifically I saw on a reddit thread that this engineer who had an intern on their team that they were supposed to mentor and things just went haywire. So I'm gonna read it off for you so that we can kind of jump into the story together. I work at a tech company as a mid-level dev. Our intern joined and I was his host as the product touched most of what I do day to day. I was always helpful and answered his questions, but I had this habit, but he had this habit of asking me the same question. To keep it brief, two weeks ago on Saturday of all days, he asked me the same question I've answered twice before and me, in my absolute stupidity, replied, scroll up in the chat for once you dumb C word. I know, I know, it was a stupid thing to say. Finding it suspicious, he hasn't asked me questions in a while, he asks me every day. I checked his calendar and he's been meeting with HR lately. I'm, wonder I'm worried if I might be let go and should I be searching for another job, will this show up in my background check? <sighs> let me just say, if I was that intern, I would be just horrified. Like, I can't imagine already being an intern or just being an early in your career, or just starting a new job, whatever it may be, People have questions, especially when you're early on. So to already be in that vulnerable state of like, knowing you don't know much and knowing that like you have a lot of learning to do, but you know, you're paired up with this mentor and you think, okay, I wanna ask them as many questions as I can, but trying not to get on their nerves, trying to think through the questions that you're gonna ask. I remember being an intern and being in that place of like, am I bothering them? Am I asking too many questions? And then people coming, or my mentor coming back to me and being like, no question is too dumb. Like ask as many questions as you want. Like as an intern, it's just expected that you're not gonna know things and that you're gonna be asking questions. Engineering isn't supposed to be a siloed thing that you do by yourself in that that it's just you and you're only, the only one making these decisions and you don't have to interact with people around you. That's not true. As much as you know, engineers can be introverted and, and more focused on themselves and their code, you are expected to be able to work with other people and to be able to work on teams and to be able to mentor others and to take on projects, which means that you will be working with not just your team, but teams outside of your team and maybe even whole organizations. And so if you don't have the skills to, to you know, have fruitful discussions or to temper your anger or to be able to communicate how you're feeling or why you've thought about a certain uh, uh, feature in this way versus another way that you could have done it versus a way that somebody told you that it should be done and you don't agree. These are soft skills that need to be tended to if they're not natural to you. They need to be focused on and worked on even if they are natural to you. Soft skills are so important in software engineering. In this specific case, this it, to me is more like common sense. Like you shouldn't be swearing at an intern. You shouldn't be making your intern feel down about themselves or feel belittled or anything like that. Honestly, mentoring an intern takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of empathy and kindness and being willing 
to help out in ways that you might not have had to before on your team. But that's something that you just have to take on if that is your role and if that's something that you signed up for. Soft skills are something that you have to work on and build upon. They're not just something that you possess just by being a decent human. Soft skills are about leadership, effective communication, being able to handle tricky conversation. Again, these are skills that you have to work on, just like you work on getting better at Python or Docker or Java or C++. You also need to be able to work on your soft skills, especially when you have power over other individuals like interns or if you want to be a manager one day or a lead engineer on a big project where you're leading other engineers to take a feature or platform product whatever it may be to the finish line i want to drill this this idea home that like not only are should you be focused on making sure that you're at your technical best but you should also be focused on making sure that you can work with other people and work on teams. So what are some soft skills that I think that engineers should have? I think communication is a huge one. Being able to effectively communicate your ideas and have maybe tricky conversations with people who might not be similar to you in a bunch of different ways, but especially in engineering when you have to talk about technical topics to people who might not understand the technical side of things. Being able to communicate things in a way that flow across different people and teams is really important. Another soft skill I think is important for engineers. Adaptability, I think is big. Being able to adapt to different contexts and projects or people even, because things change in tech all the time. You could have reorgs where you're getting a new manager every three to six months. You could be put on different projects in the same amount of time. So just being able to adapt, being able to, to work with whatever is thrown into your environment at that time, being able to add adequately handle those changes, I think is super important. Teamwork, obviously, and I think that goes hand in hand with the communication piece. Being able to work with a bunch of different people is really important. Problem solving, critical thinking, also super important. And, and then the last thing we kind of touched on this as well, conflict resolution. Being able to assess that, hey, there's an issue or a problem or a, a disagreement between me and some other person. How do I handle this disagreement in a way that doesn't make the other person feel bad and also make sure that I'm able to get out what I wanna get out, but in a way that is not confrontational, make it more like you're trying to have a conversation and like you're trying to get the other person's perspective because you are and you wanna have a good understanding of both sides so that you can be able to better inform your own decision. On top of that, you probably already have a lot of those soft skills or maybe even more from school or work already or internships or just hanging out with friends and family. These are skills that you build on throughout your lifetime, but sometimes you kind of have to put more emphasis on one soft skill over the other. So if you're already good at conflict resolution, but you need a little bit more focus on time management, then you know, okay, let's put more focus into this side of things instead of the other and vice versa, right? So just being able to reflect, think about some of the soft skills that you already have and how to strengthen the weaker ones so that you can be a well-rounded individual and a well-rounded engineer. So I hope this video was uh, helpful and to just, you know, start the conversation about soft skills within engineering. I think it's so important for engineers to be really well-rounded and to me that means having high EQ and IQ. You know, make sure that you're working with other people in a way that's beneficial to the entire team. Not just thinking about yourself and what you're doing, but thinking about, okay, how do we move together? Like, how do we how do we become a unit in what we're doing? Like, how do we make sure that things are cohesive and that everyone feels heard and safe, feels like they can contribute to this environment? And so you don't wanna be the reason why an intern <laughs> ends up filing an HR case or why someone else on your team does it or whatever. You or I, I'll speak for myself. I want to make sure that anyone who works with me feels like I'm listening to them and that we can have good conversations and good communication and that I'm not only good technically but also good 
with my soft skills. And so that's something that as an engineer, I have been working on and I'm really you know, adamant about working on. And so I just hope that that kind of inspires you a little bit if that's something that you've been thinking about. I think that just as engineers, this is something that we should think about just to be more well-rounded if I haven't said that enough already. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.